Hello everyone, this is my 16th video on sport diagnosis. Today you will learn about an another condition. So before starting my topic, I want to tell you in brief about the tetralogy of phthalates. There are four abnormalities which are present in the top. One is ventricular septal defect, perimembranous type. Another is right ventricular outlet tract obstruction, pulmonary stenosis. And in 45% cases, it is infundibular stenosis. Patient may or may not have right ventricular hypertrophy at the time of presentation. And also overriding of aorta may or may not be present. Right aortic arc present in 25% cases. So these are the four abnormalities which are present in the patients of tetralogy of phthalates. Clinical presentation depends on the severity of right ventricular outlet tract obstruction. So if the patient is having mild to moderate PS, then patient will have the asynotic top, which is our case, in which patient was not having cyanosis because of mild pulmonary stenosis. If patient is having severe PS, then cyanotic top, and they develop the cyanosis in early age, while the asynotic talk developed the cyanosis almost 6 months to 1 year after. Extreme form of the talk because of pulmonary atresia, they will develop the cyanosis right from the birth. They will be symptomatic right from the birth and they cannot survive without urgent operation. So in this video, you can see three months old male child having the signs of the respiratory distress. These are the intercostal retraction, subcostal retraction, LR nasi flaring present. Patient admitted for the complaint of cough, cold and difficulty in breathing. And in uh, examination, we found that patient is having the crepitations in the lung fields, also having signs of respiratory distress. We made the diagnosis of LRTI. Also, patient was having the signs of the congestive heart failure as the liver was enlarged almost 4 to 5 centimeters and also having the murmur at the left external border, both at the upper, mid and lower part. And patient was not having any sinuses, not having any clubbing and also having single S2. So on the basis of these characteristic clinical findings and the examination finding, we made the probable diagnosis that patient is suffering from congenital heart disease with LRTI. Then ECG, X-ray and ECO was also done. ECG was suggesting right axis deviation with right atrial and right ventricular hypertrophy. And in uh, X-ray, characteristic finding of TOF was present. So we made the diagnosis for this patient on the basis of these characteristic features with the delayed growth development, pink pellets or asynotic TOF. As I said in the previous slides, that patients of pink pellets will not develop the cyanosis in initial six months to one year of life. This is the X-ray of the child. It is characteristically showing the boot shaped heart, core and say boot, which is present in top. And echo was also done. All the four components of tetralogy of phthalates were present in the echo. But patient is having only mild PS. That's why patient was labeled as a pink phthalates, not having any cyanosis, and because of mild pulmonary stenosis. In brief about the TOF, cyanosis present either at birth or shortly thereafter or after 6 months to 1 year depends on the degree of pulmonary stenosis. Patient will have the tachypnea dyspnea. Hypoxic spells will be there, also known as hypersinotic blue tate dispel. It is characteristically present in the TOF. But in pink phthalates, these spells will not be present in first 1 year of life. Congestive heart failure present in asynotic TOF only, not in synotic TOF and in extreme form of TOF because they are having the severe pulmonary stenosis. So, patient will not develop the congestive heart failure. 
while in the acyanotic top patient will have the large vsd with mild ps so congestive heart failure will develop also having delayed growth and the development in signs of the top patient will have the cyanosis depends on degree of ps clubbing later on tachypnea polycythemia rv tape along the left sternal border because of the right ventricular hypertrophy systolic thrill at the upper and mid left sternal border because of ps in 50% patient single s2 soft p2 because of ps there are two types of murmur one is ejection systolic murmur from ps heard at middle and upper left sternal border another is holo systolic murmur of the ventricular septal defect at lower left sternal border so these are the characteristic of the top thank you so much